Doing good is a choice. Let's talk about that. Kane in Technical Center. you got to come see it. It's pretty cool. All these uh, teenagers and uh, middle schoolers doing some really cool stuff over there in Canaan Technical Center. Um, not a sponsor, but could be, I guess. So, uh, doing good is a choice. Let's rewind a little bit. Um, naturally, human nature, okay, if we study human nature, we always tend to go to the bad. We always tend to gossip. We always tend to, you know, different, de, de, yeah, hurt somebody's character. Um, you know, we always, always go to the bad. Like if something's happening, we go to the negative. And that's just human nature. That's just, that, that's, that's just easy. Okay. It's when we make a concerted effort or a wise decision to actually not do those things. Okay, I think it's, I think it's braver and and uh, more mature and harder to choose the good and see the good in people and actually do good for other people, even though they're your enemy or your neighbor, than it is to just go over to human nature and say whatever, or step on people to get your way, or you know manipulate people or go towards the bad very quickly. I mean, even Christians are are guilty of this. You know, sometimes we complain about other churches or other Christians or, you know, other situations. And I do the same thing, and I, and I shouldn't. Um, but that's human nature coming out of us. The sinful nature uh, wants to go to the bad, always wants to make you look better, always wants to prop you up um, and you on the seat and not God. And so uh, Titus, a really small book, but an awesome, there's some awesome words in there. Um, and I... I think there's only four chapters in Titus. Yeah, it's real small. But uh, there's one that stands out to me, um, like just pops out. Because it is urgent, it is a choice to do good. And if we don't do that, then we're going to be just like the world. And we don't want to do that. We, we want to break the mold because of the Holy Spirit inside of us. It should be change there should be like drastic change like people should not should see the difference between a worldly person and a christian and so titus chapter 3 verse 14 our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good so if you devote yourself to something devoting is a choice to do good so you actually have to overcome your human nature overcome your sinful nature and say okay i'm going to do good to this person uh, despite my my desire to hurt and then it says, this is why we need to devote ourselves to good, in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. So the reason why we do good is to help others, to be productive, to be um, providing urgent needs. Now, not wants, but needs. Um, so, you know, if you have a friend or if you have a neighbor, or if you have an enemy that needs clothing or food or money or, you know, just help in general, we, sh the Christians should be there first. The Christians should actually swallow their pride, swallow their hate, swallow their gossip and say, look, I'm going to do good to this person because I'm doing it for God, not for that person. And then we can maybe bring them to the table and say, hey, um, I'm sorry, you know, and forgive me. And then we'll do good again. Uh, but it's a conscience, a conscientious choice to do good. And so I encourage you today, do good. Pick the good. Look at the good in people. Look at the good in your situations. And praise God for them and change. If you're not drastically changed and you're not, you know, if you're still looking like the world, you got you to gotta do some introspective with the Holy Spirit um, and change to do good for urgent needs, and to live productive lives. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great, what is it? it is Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, you need to look at like 1990s commercials for that. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. Was I in that? No.